All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Firewatch. We are here. We are through the gate. It is time to peel back the curtain, so to speak. And I'm freaking terrified. Is this going to be an Until Dawn situation where we get in here and all of a sudden there's like supernatural scary crap going on? Am I going to get jumped by a Wendigo? Am I going to find a bunch of scientists just chilling in lab coats, studying every move I make? Something in between? I have no idea. No idea what to expect, and that's exciting. But also horrifying. This music is setting the tone very well, and it's getting very dark. Oh man, this is spooky as shit. Right, I have a flashlight. This is probably a great time for it. Unless they surprise me with a stealth sequence all of a sudden out of nowhere. Don't get spotted. Oh. Could this be a communications tower? Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Yeah, well, this isn't that surprising, given everything that's happened. Will they let me turn this off? Modern tower. Can't really interact with this. There's a lock on the box. I could probably disable it from there, or I could just cut the power. This generator... I mean, I have no way of knowing if this is a good generator. Like, how long is this thing going to last? How frequently do they have to come back and refill that? But now that I know that they have to come here if they want to keep monitoring people, I could set a trap for them. That'd be a twist, wouldn't it? Seems like there's actually not a lot of room for looking around in here. They're definitely funneling me down this path. Is this the other end of the fence? Hmm. Find it very odd that we're not running into anybody. Okay, so they've got more than one monitoring tower. Taking out one of them isn't necessarily going to kill their ability to listen to us. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Soil grid? What the hell does that even mean? I mean, how the hell did they get all this stuff out here? The Army Corps of Engineers put our towers out here, so... You think it was the government? I have no idea. I, I just mean it's possible. I mean, every once in a while, I'll need a lookout who's deep into that, like, black helicopter conspiracy shit. Maybe they actually flew it out here in one of those. Yeah, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, it's probably the most plausible way that they could get this stuff out here without you knowing, but that means that this stuff has been here for the same amount of time that your equipment has been out here, and how is it possible that nobody ever stumbled across the fence in all this time? I don't see that as being possible. Unless you're in on it. Unless you're lying to me. Delilah, I'm still so suspicious of you. I can't help it. Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. <laughs> Shut up. Don't joke about that, Henry. It's not funny. Alright, what's inside the tent? Hold up. Can't open that. Hard case. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. There's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. 
Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. All right. I will go through everything. Definitely expecting to get interrupted at some point. This place just it feels like there's bad shit afoot, you know? It's sterile. Dead. Hopefully we find some proof to back that up. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. That's a good point. <laughs> There's no way they don't know I'm here right now. Oh, shit. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy. Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. I will, but I'm gonna save that for last because I'm afraid that's gonna trigger something when I pick it up. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Okay, well now I know their generator schedule, Wednesday and Sunday. Okay, shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Um, I mean, how could I possibly know that? I've been all over this goddamn map. I've certainly been to the places that they're tracking on here, but that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, I guess this is just my region, right? Yeah, come to think of it, this whole site is way bigger than just the place that I've been to, so they're specifically looking at my region. Now, on this chart here, we can tell that most of the subjects are male. These are all different subjects because they have different subject numbers, but there is one female subject, which is probably Delilah, right? And it says that she has avoidance behavior, conflict, or no, consult previous data, which means that they've been looking at her for a long time. Social role, M-O-P-E-O -E and N-D. That's some kind of code, probably. I don't really know what that means. The first subject is frequent departure from Two Forks area. The third one is unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. That's probably like Ron or Dave. And disproportionate food intake. Well, that could be anybody. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Um... The good one, the good ones, I guess. I would have guessed Ron and Dave. Maybe the good ones? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Right. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. What else can we do? What else can we do? There's some sort of monitor. I don't know what it does. Maybe air quality or something? Maybe they're keeping data on everything that could impact our moods. That looks possible. This is crazy. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. Yeah, like us. <laughs> yeah, so they're not super fancy. Well, let's see. Um, I can keep this with me. I guess I should, right? May come in handy later. Um, can't really copy down anything from the map, so no need to do that. Oh, there's clothes hanging here. That doesn't really indicate gender, it's just socks and towels. I mean, probably male. I imagine a male's more likely to wear those socks, but then again, I'm not basing that on anything. <laughs> Who knows what a female would wear out here? 
if she was working in an environment like this. Not me. Oh shit, it's just saved. Oh shit. Okay, I'm taking this. Am I going to use this to track something down? Okay. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm going to go find out. Right, so... Oh, it's got a built-in compass. I quite like that. Zoom and orient. So I just got to follow the strength of the signal. I mean, I can really only follow this thing one way out of here anyway, so... <laughs> I don't really see what it's going to do me just yet. It's getting way weaker in this direction. Practically nothing. Well. Am I supposed to follow it to the equipment inside the tent? I mean, yeah. <laughs> It likes this. Is there something right on the other side of this tent? What's that mug about? Just hoof it. Right. Oh, it still beeps even if I don't have it pulled up. No, nothing there. Okay. Well, I guess I just escape with this then. At the very least, they can't be using it to track whatever the hell they're tracking. It's just interesting because the instructions even said, like, that it works on any kind of radio source, right? Eh, I don't think this is right, guys. I think they want me to use it to track something, but it only works right down here. Well, okay, so this is indicating the range, right? Because the, the beeping is completely dropped off and we're not near that kind of source anymore. So maybe it'll pick up something else once we get out of here. I'm not entirely sure what they want from me right now. And I don't really have an objective to follow. <laughs> well, let's just head back out and see what happens. Maybe I'll get some dialogue from Delilah. She can tell me a wee bit more. Or maybe I'll run into something. Whoa. Did you guys just see that? Oh, it was a little leaf thing. I saw this go flying up. And I thought it was a shooting star for a second. It was weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like nowhere else to go in here, so... Damn fence rattling. I hate how I can hear that. Investigate Wapiti Meadow. So. They want me to stick around in here then? I don't know where else I can go. Open lid. Whoa. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> B plot? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I got stung by a bee, guys. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th through October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the, the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. We're not going to report that name? Well, I'm keeping that. Alright. Well, at least I figured that out. Well, it seems they want me to stick around in here, guys. Gotta figure out somewhere else to go. Maybe I can tune the transceiver. 
I look at just the right spot down there with it. Or maybe there's just some other path. I'm not sure. It's usually pretty obvious in this game when there's another path you can take. And I'm not noticing anything like that. Which doesn't mean it doesn't exist. We're just surrounded by rocks and hills on all sides. And this game doesn't really let you climb that type of stuff. Most of the time. Yep. I mean, I know that there's all this equipment here. Barometer? They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. We've also got a tray of reports. Clear away the mess. Oh. Here we go, guys. This is the mother load. assessments about the two of us there's stuff in here about julia like what stuff i didn't tell you this is what, what does it say about me you said there was one about me and it looks like they've been following me around what i do when i'm out hiking jesus henry do you hear me do you have a boyfriend javier what the fuck wish you hadn't left that out i don't i i didn't this is insane I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. <laughs> Think about it. Me Worst case scenario. Uh, uh. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. The, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! This is insane. It's alright, I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Susceptibility to manipulation is a 9 out of 10 for us guys. Subject may be aware of tests, suggests we disengage the subject decides to leave his post. So, they fucked off? Wait, subject has fully engaged supervisor, trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full D cooperation. Yeah, you can cooperate with my D, you motherfuckers. What the hell, guys? Well, this pretty much confirms everything we were suspecting about them watching us. Okay, so what am I going to do with that black box, I wonder? And am I really going to get to just walk out of here? That made it sound like they weren't really going to be watching us anymore. But I don't know. Could be a manipulation. They're very interested in how easily we are manipulated. So I can't really trust anything, can I? And what about Javier, Delilah? You want to tell me about that? It says that you are... Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> Do they just go nuclear on it? I call it in, I guess. Fuck, I don't Do know. We just treat it like a normal fire? Yeah, I think so. We just 
call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Fuck them. Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Let's just leave. <laughs> just nope. <laughs> Done with this. But yeah, Delilah, tell me about Javi, Javi, Javier, Javier. Because that report also said that you are, uh, you have a skewed perception of your own past or something like that. Oh, guys, I'm making a collage of all the documents I've collected. It's awesome. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep, beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. <laughs> Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Maybe a bad idea. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. We turned our radio off. I don't know about that there, Henry. That's probably not the best idea. So looking at this, I wonder how many documents I haven't picked up in this game, guys. Looks like there's maybe space for one or two in this little collage. I don't know, like, how tall it would get. But yeah, I guess we're... We're getting to the end here because we've laid everything out. This missing guy, Mitch Michaels. Ron or Dave, NFS, working for them. Missing person, last seen at Lake. Others missing, teens. Yeah, there's been a fair amount of missing people. I guess not really that weird considering where we are, but... We gotta keep all these in mind. Teens note, actually a bear. Teens in on it, frame me for attack. I have to imagine that whatever happened to the teens, the, the dudes down in the in Wapiti Meadow were responsible for it because they're, you know, it's part of their manipulation, I guess. Fuck. All right, guys, we gotta get going. Follow this transceiver. Well, receiver. Those actually mean different things, but. I tend to use them interchangeably. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Follow the green. It'll take us where we need to go. And we know that the range on this thing isn't really all that large, so we should get there relatively quickly. Theoretically. There's a couple different ways down from here. If I circle around here. Oh yeah, we're hot. Is this area always open to me down here? <laughs> I'm not even sure. Okay. Well, somebody's somebody's backpack. Is waiting for us. Who's this belong to? Shit! What? Fuck! Ah. Stop! <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay, well, somebody knows I'm here, I guess. National Shoshone Forest. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? 
yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it oh. is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. Fuck. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. <laughs> I was trying to run this entire time and they wouldn't let me run, guys. Oh, somebody's there. If they're taking my sheets again, I'm going to be extra pissed. These bastards. This isn't even the right way, is it? Wait, what's back here? It's just another shortcut, I guess. This particular area of the map has a lot of winding paths and branches and whatnot. I don't think we're actually on, like, a timer here, guys, so I'm not, like, super worried. When we get back there, we'll see what's going on. I do feel a slight sense of urgency, but okay. I don't know if I have a picture of my tower, come to think of it, so I'm going to go ahead and snap that. Maybe we'll find something in the picture, some kind of clue. What was that? Man, I hate that. That might be... The one bad thing about this game so far is occasionally you just get a very, very slight indication that you can make a call, but then, like, you can't find it again. It just pops up on your screen while you're running, and then it's gone. Yeah, whatever. All right, asshole. I have an axe. What do you have? Oh, they're gone again. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Whoa, taped Walkman. Oh, I should have called about that. Okay. Right. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and... It sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Yeah, they're gonna be framing the hell out of us for everything. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? <laughs> I don't know, but I can't go straight to the cave? Pretty sure I have the keys for that now, I'd kinda like to go do that. Gonna be okay, baby. It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um. So I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Us? Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Look, you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, Harrison Ford. Uh, this is kind of a shit picture, but let's go ahead and snap one. That way we just have it recorded. Ooh, okay, we're finally going to get inside the cave, guys. 
I've been looking forward to this. I knew it would happen at some point. As much as Debbie tried to fuck us over. Stupid Debbie. I bet you it's Debbie who's behind all this. Didn't they say that Debbie's the one who lost the keys in the first place? And then all of a sudden, they just magically turn up. Yeah, I bet they did. Debbie. Piece of shit. Alright, we gotta go north. Which means... This way, um... Yeah, let's go hit that trail and then just stick to the left and we'll eventually get to where we're going. Shouldn't be all that hard. Famous last words. <laughs> Still got the outhouse out here. What's going on in this place? Man, how often do these things get cleaned out all the way out here? That's disgusting. Ew. Is this how I pass the time in the outhouse? Just stare at a baseball? <laughs> no more of that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, guys. All right, is this my trail? Uh, Beartooth Point. Straight north this way. Yeah, this is what I want to stick to, I think. Oh, man, guys. Whee! So start placing your bets now. Do you think Delilah is in on whatever's going on? Or do you think we can trust her? I don't know, guys. She keeps fucking up in ways that incriminate me. <laughs> Which makes it difficult to... Uh, even, if, if, even if I trust her intentions, I don't know if I trust her ability to navigate through these situations. Because she's just... She keeps making mistakes. Hey. Actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I mean, if I did, then the game didn't let me know that I did. I couldn't, even if I wanted to. That's a that's a good answer. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. I like that backhanded insult as a way to uh, reassure her. Whew. All right, here at the cave. Let's see what we're gonna bust in on, guys. Surprised we're not telling Delilah that we're here. Long, steep drop. What's this? Who cracked this rock? How does that just happen? Uh, use Pulaski on the loose rocks? Yes. Yes. Wait, do I want to do that? Jesus, this is a big cave. Oh, I guess I have to. I can't actually drop down there. Okay. This is a great way to get myself freaking murdered. <laughs> Murder myself by causing a cave-in. Jesus. That's some serious shit. You don't just go breaking rocks in a cave. Alright. So far, so good. How much you guys want to bet this thing collapses when I jump? Ooh. It's Guess I've been in here. Guess I've been playing too much Uncharted. <laughs> oh, there's something down there. Hold up. I can't go. I cannot get down there. What is that? Is anybody down there? Somebody's shoe? Oh, somebody left it down there, clearly. I can't zoom in with this, can I? Uh, oh, should I take a picture of that, guys? I think I will. I might need that as evidence at some point. See, now I'm like, ah, was that a waste? I, I only have three shots left. I don't want to waste any. I guess we'll find out. If nothing else, it's a, <laughs> it's a good shot, right? 
I could speak to somebody. That's that's art right there. Look, somebody lost a shoe down in a deep, dark cave. They're probably dead down there. Nobody will ever see that shoe again, except for through my photograph. Alright, we're coming out somewhere. We're actually going to be outside. But where outside? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, the... There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I guess I completely missed that. Somebody slammed the door behind me? Interesting. Uh... I feel like that wasn't presented very well. Either that or I'm just a totally oblivious dumbass. Either one could be true. Well, okay, I'm supposed to go back to my tower now? Where the hell even am I? Ah, I came out way up here. So we made our way northeast. We're right at the telephone line, actually. I wonder, should I try and follow the telephone line? And just, like, kind of check it out? Can I even do that? Probably not. I imagine the path just kind of ends right here. Yeah. So, never mind about that. I feel like the dialogue's starting to, uh... break down a little bit. Whoa! Whoa! Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Huh. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Should I not tell you any more about this stuff? He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. He had a dinosaur. Reminds me of the dinosaur from Dinosaur Comics. <laughs> it looks exactly like it. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Huh. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Well, you try to do a good thing for a kid for the summer. It's admirable in its way. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he... Honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Well, that's... fucking dark. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Comic books can get into some serious shit, guys. I don't know if you've ever read them. I've read some back in the day. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Well, let's see. Obviously, inspired by his comic books... 
you're dead. There's some Freddy Krueger. Oh my god, it's Freddy Krueger dunking a severed head. That's actually kind of amazing. Brian Goodwin. I've never felt closer to you than I do right now. That's, that's really cool, actually. Go ahead and store that. Oh. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. <laughs> what, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. Damn. Thought we were close, Delilah. <laughs> I just really like this note that the teacher left on here. Avoid second person. It's too conversational for science. Yeah, sorry, teach. I'm trying to make science fun. That's my bad. Are these your own words, Brian? She thinks that he's plagiarizing some of this stuff. Which, to be fair, this is some pretty advanced stuff for sixth grade. So, I don't know, maybe Brian was a genius, or maybe he was a plagiarizing little bastard. Who could say, guys? Who could even say? Well, this is interesting. We're finding some really interesting stuff out here, guys. I think I'm going to take a break for now. When we come back, we'll continue back to the lookout. Look for an anchor to come back to the cave, I guess. I'm not sure where this is all going. I've been surprised a couple times in this game, but I am really enjoying it. This is great. So, thanks for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch, this is Firewatch, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Take care.